hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Olichon will be daniel and in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to turn heavy lashes to natural lashes just like this one they are same lashes so if you want to know how i achieve this please keep on watching so i've had these lashes for some months now i ordered like 40 i think 30 pieces from one beauties different styles and i really love her lashes especially the band and the styles so this particular one um i also ordered it and i ended up not using it because it looks very short but it's very chunky and i really don't like chunky lashes so how i knew it was chunky was i wore it on a bride and it was really chunky on her eyes even though she loved it but i didn't like it so okay so that i actually ordered more lashes this december period but not from one though and i thought to myself i still have lashes and i don't want to waste it but before then i called her to know if i can buy the ones i've bought before and she said they were out of stock and i told her that i still have some but i didn't like the styles they were too chunky for me and she advised that i take out some hairs from the lashes wow i was like who has time to do that but then again i save money i don't like to waste things okay lashes are like 2500 now on instagram so i wouldn't want to waste this ones so i think i have like seven pairs that i haven't used of this style so i decided to use my tweezers and take out the hairs now as you can see this lashes has two layers in it the top layer has is coily kind of and what i did i picked a tweezer and then i started taking out the top part which is a coily part so that coily part is actually what made this lashes a bit chunky i'm sorry the person that is holding my camera wasn't holding it well but i know you can understand what i'm doing here i'm trying to take out the chunky part which is the upper layer and after that i still dived into the um lower part of the lashes so i first of all took out the coily part you have to hold on to the stem of the lashes and pull out careful i prefer to just do it one um branch at a time or rather one stem at a time i don't know what to call it but i i hope you understand what i'm saying here so you can see that the hairs are falling off that means there's progress I really love the outcome of these lashes and it just taught me that wasting of things is not good anything you buy with your money and you feel that you regret it just find a way around it and know how you can use you can best use it in a way that it will still be meaningful useful to you okay so this was exactly what i did i pulled out the hairs and so after taking out the you see you can see that i still have some leftovers on the first layer so i still took my time to take it out and this thing needs a lot of patience it's tiring to do it looks easy but it's not easy it's just like plucking frontal from <laughs> plucking hairs from a frontal so you can see the difference between the first one i did and the second one i'm still going to go back to that one but i just wanted to show you guys the difference okay so i went ahead to continue plucking i plucked out a whole lot from me and it really gave me what i wanted so it gave what it was supposed to give so each time I pluck and it pulls out, I go back to place it back on the plate. 
because holding it on my hand to pluck wasn't so easy but it's easier plucking from the plate so i went ahead to do the other one okay From the ones that has fallen out, the hairs that's fallen out, you can see that the hairs are so curved. Okay, so imagine having that on my client's eyes. I know that there are some clients that love heavy looking lashes, chunky, and they don't even care whether it's so chunky on their eyes. They are dramatic people, I know. So different strokes for different folks. How do they say that? So and i won't blame them but for me i love to wear lashes according to the eye shape and eye size i have even smaller lashes that fits in smaller hooded eyes so i think it's going to be in another video i'll just have to show you guys all my lashes and the eye shapes i have to wear them on and explain to you guys so if you want me to do a video on, on that please comment below in the comment section if i have like 10 years i'm going to do the video for you guys to see so that you can understand that not all lashes fit every eye shape i'm very detailed when it comes to things like that i don't like to put lashes that are so heavy even on demand <laughs> sometimes it feels like i'm fighting with my clients so you can see the amount i've taken out from both lashes that's a whole lot i still went back to pluck because i wanted it to be very natural so sorry guys if you hear my baby cooing just know that i'm a new mom and things like this are bound to happen <laughs> okay so plucking made easy and no matter how hard it seems it, at some point i started enjoying the plucking so take your time to make sure that the two lashes are the same so that when you wear it on your client they don't look one does not look heavier okay just like our brows they are not twins but they almost look the same so i know you can calculate the amount of hairs You've taken out from one lashes from the other so but there's a way you look at them and they appear the same so take your time to observe well to pluck out the more hairs that you know that might look chunky and that is it So guys, I have another style here from Voan. This one looks very long. It's way longer than that one. And for me, if I have to use long lashes, they have to appear very scanty. It looks scanty from the pack, but it's not so, so scanty. So all I did was to take like three or four um, hairs from each stem. Okay, so and that's exactly what i did just like what i did in the other style i just took out hairs from each stem so if i have to wear long lashes on a client it has to be as scanty and as possible and when i wear lashes like this i try as much as possible to do matte eyeshadow so this is a tip i'm giving lashes also has to do with the eyeshadow application too if you don't know 
know it now okay <laughs> so when i use canty lashes i use it on matte eyeshadow looks and when i use um fuller lashes i use it on pigmented eye looks okay so it just has a way of you know it just comes out natural that's that's just the reason so i'm just pulling out hairs you see it looks even more natural than the other one and i really love the outcome hey guys so um i had to go back to the previous lashes i twist i plucked out more hairs because i wanted it to look even more natural so i hope you enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment and also comment on what other video you would you guys would love to see on this channel i'll see you guys in my next video please don't forget to turn on the notification bell share this video to your friends as it's going to be very helpful i love you guys so see you in my next video bye bye